Uh, so the next one here. Hi. It's been really exciting to see the crew get more and more involved with the dress up and cosplay and stuff. Yes. Really. How much did the crew know about what they were getting into <laughs> before we showed up? Well, uh, we've, we've done this for three years now, and they're on Hall of America. On Hall of America, on as a charter. Um, and, and prior to chartering, we didn't have a lot of direct interaction with, with much of the crew on the ship. And since chartering, we work closely with them and, and the heads of the various departments on the ship every day. Um, and, and some of them have, have come to know us and are actually not on their first Yoko cruise. Uh, most notably, I don't know if you saw um, Ohura on day three. Um, she's the ship's purser. She's in charge of everyone's onboard accounts. Um, she played D&D &D with me at D&D &D night. Um, it's her second Joko cruise, and she's trying to figure out how to come as a, as a full sea monkey next year. Um, and, uh, we got one! We got one! <laughs> but her, her, one of her favorite things, and as performers, when you make the people who do this stuff day in and day out, it's always the same, that when you're bringing to many of them the same joy that, that you are feeling. So when we see them participating, it's, it's fantastic. And it's, it's another testament to all of you. I mean, or the rep, our reputation precedes us in Hall of America now. There are numerous uh, crew members who request to be on our charter when they find out that it's coming because you're all so pleasant and happy and easy to accommodate. You're not, you know, pounding your fist at the front desk because you were charged three dollars for a Coca-Cola that you weren't expecting to get charged for. And I remember the the first year we did charter, they said, "Well, it, with your group, how are we going to manage this with the tendering, with taking the boats?" And we said, "Just give us a list. Give us instructions. <laughs> they will follow it." <laughs> I've never heard of such a thing. No. And I think at that moment, like, I think the whole Holland America organization realized, all right. Yeah, and I, I will say also that this morning at the meeting with the ship staff, the captain, first of all, the captain showed up in a robe that had, <laughs> that had four stripes on his suit. I'm also he has a special captain's robe. <laughs> Uh, and he he uh, he thanked me specifically at the end. He said, "I want to thank you, and I want to let you know that um, the, it, it's his first week back from his his. Uh, they do they do some number of months on and some number of months off, and it's his first week back. And he said this is the easiest week, <laughs> the easiest, greatest, most fun week. And he said that all of you guys are so uh, so kind and fun, and uh, he, he it was just a glowing praise about you guys. So." From the captain himself. And that was captain related update, uh, actually. So I, I went and I asked the hotel director, Roderick, wanted uh, someone with military experience for the decommissioning of Lake Osterdam. So, and, and the hotel director had, had served in um, Holland. So I asked him if he could make it. He had a meeting. He called the bridge. The captain came down. Uh, and decommissioned the service? Yes. And, he, and he, we got the bell from the bow of the ship, and the captain rang it in the atrium. Oh, yes. And he decommissioned the yes. yeah. It's like as big as one of these floor monitors. As, as hotel director Mike said, it's a proper bell. 